Covenant Care has a policy about medical assistance in dying where they um, they will not provide nor explicitly refer for MAID, um, uh, given, as they say, the incompatibility of MAID with the organization's mission and ethical tradition. Uh, it's problematic. It, you know, this is um, MAID is a, a legal option for eligible Canadians uh, to alleviate suffering. And, uh, it, you know, it's not something that would be offered in a Covenant Care facility. Um, I, you know, I've had experience where I've assessed somebody for MAID, found them to be eligible, and they were in a covenant care facility. And for provision of MAID, they had to be transferred off site. Uh, you know, as you can imagine, at end of life, even a trip to the bathroom can be very distressing and painful and, and challenging. So, you know, to, to be transferred off site at that juncture is, um, to me, it's really inhumane. Um, there is a lawsuit going on in BC right now against uh, Providence Health, I believe, by the family of a young woman who was transferred out of a Vancouver uh, hospital, again, a faith-based uh, institution. And she was in so much pain during the transfer that she had to be sedated. So her family and loved ones had to say goodbye to her even before the transfer, not really at the moment or, or moments before uh, provision, which was what they had, uh, I think, uh, you know, intended or desired. If a private institution wants to decide which services they provide, that's perfectly fine and acceptable. But if they're accepting public funding and Covenant Care does accept a lot of public funding, um, then I think they have a, an obligation to provide the same services uh, as the other institutions in Alberta would. Mm -hmm.